21 PGA Tour wins, the 77 PGA Championship, the 79 players, the 1970 U.S. Amateur, eight-time United States Ryder Cup team member, 95 U.S. Ryder Cup captain, and 692 PGA Tour starts. How about all of that and being a member of the World Golf Hall of Fame? What stands out? Well, it's, you know, I think, and it's funny, I mean, if, I think if you ask any player uh, it's probably worth his medal. He's going to sit here and say, yeah, those are nice, but I remember the ones I lost or the ones I felt like I should have won. And I think sometimes that's more reflective than the wins. Uh, I, I'm proud of a lot of that I did. I, I'm proud of uh, my wins at Riviera for starters. I mean, I have the tur- I still have the tournament record at Riviera, 20 under par, that's been standing since 1985. That's 40 years. So uh, I think the longevity... The fact that I won in three different decades, played a long time, played well at a long time, a long time. Uh, yeah, I'm proud of that, that I, I was able to do that because I had some injuries and some things that you hope that don't happen to you while you're playing. But uh, I, I, I persevered through a lot of different things and fought hard. When you talk about kind of the ones that got away, if you will, you you were runner up in four other major championships. Do you look back at any of those and, and, how, how, how does that strike you? Is it a putt that didn't drop or is it a bad decision that you made or, or something that haunts you when you think back on the ones that didn't? Yeah, usually it's a putt or, you know, putts here and there. Um, I mean, there are a couple that come to mind that the Masters in 91, I felt like I played well enough. I should have won lost by two. I uh, lost back to back U.S. Opens by two shots. Uh, that's, that's hard to take when you get that close to tournaments that significant. Uh, you know, I, I think the thing that strikes me looking back, uh, and, I, and I wish I could go tell this to some of today's players, uh, you have to go ahead and put a whole lot of importance on the majors. Uh, I, I think that's one thing that Tiger and uh, Jack Nicklaus did better than the rest of us. Uh, they kind of sensed that at some point in time, you were going to run out of majors. You were going to now all of a sudden not be exempt for a Masters, not a U.S. Open. Uh, whatever, you're not going to be in all these tournaments and have all the opportunities. You finish second one year, you think, oh, I got another year. All of a sudden, the other years are gone. And that's, that's, that's you know, that's what it sneaks up on you. Time goes faster than you think. And I think that's probably the, the thing that, that got me a little bit was, you know, I, I wish I'd put a little bit more emphasis on being ready for some of those.